Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to flash a Motorola Q from either Sprint or Verizon to Cricut. Here is my Verizon Motorola Q. It says Verizon. It says Verizon over here too. We can make a test call to 611 to confirm that it is on Verizon. Put on speakerphone. Okay, that confirms that it is indeed on Verizon Wireless, and we're going to switch that to Cricut. So, first thing I want you to do is plug your phone in. Um, I can actually not plug my phone in on camera. The cord doesn't extend far enough from my computer. But there you just heard it plug in. All the files that I'm going to mention, you can purchase from us for $8 from Super Casey Phones over here in the right. Um, there will be a link. Anyway, here comes Active Sync. I don't want Active Sync. Uh, and we are going to flash this to Cricut. So first thing you need to do is open up the file that you'll get from us. And then you open up RSD CDMA General 5.1.6. Now we're going to break this down into two steps. A step one, which will half flash the phone, and a step two, which will full flash the phone. Anyway, once we open this program, give it a couple seconds to register that your phone is connected. You'll see my cursor has changed to a phone. And after a couple seconds, it'll show all your ESN and all of this. And it says if you're trying to make an upgrade, or do anything else, don't use this software, you can only use the phone provisioning part. And that is all that we care about. So, what I want you to do is click over here on phone provisioning, in the lower left corner. And once again, after a few more seconds, it'll bring up this page right here. Now what I want you to do is scroll down, check mobile IP, and then click on it. Make sure your mobile IP behavior is set from both to simple only. It has to be on simple only. Then we're going to scroll up, check the box next to PRL, and then click on PRL. Now here we're going to perform the half flash. What I want you to do is click open file. And you are going to browse for the file that we gave you, the Cricut eVideo file that you'll get with all the stuff that you purchased from Super Casey Phones. We're going to change this to PRL at the bottom. Here we see the file, and we are going to click on this file. Once you've clicked on that file, make sure it says provisioning has successfully opened the file. Then we click Write to Fun. Then it says you're about to change some stuff, and we just click Yes. And now we give it a couple more seconds, lots of seconds. Reading updated phone info shows all the things that are going on. And now it says provisioning has successfully written to the phone. Okay, so that is a half flash for talk and text to Cricut. I've now disconnected the phone. If you are looking um, just for talk and text and no email, no web, then you are done. But anyway, we're going to continue for web and email. Let's just call 611 to confirm it is on Cricut. Welcome to Cricut. Okay. English. That confirms that it is indeed on Cricut. And now let's get the full flash on its way. So plug the phone back into your computer. Once again, cord doesn't extend far enough. And you can close this. And <clears throat> back in our file box, here's what I want you to do. I want you to copy this file named Q over here. Active Sync open back up. And I want you to go to My Computer. And under Local Disk C, just click and click Paste. 
it's asking me to override because I already have the file in here. But here you'll see the file. So all you did is under your local disk C drive, you open that and you pasted the file. <clears throat> now, go ahead and open up the file. And first thing I want you to do is click on delete and set. Right click and click open with notepad. Now here comes up a big box of mumbo jumbo. What you're going to do is you are going to scroll down and you are looking for this line. You can't miss it. It will say value equals and it shows a phone number at my cricket. It's really noticeable. So from the top you can even see it down here already. And you're going to switch this number to whatever your cricket phone number is. Um, go ahead, call this number all you want. It's not an active number, so that's why I'm displaying it. Anyway, let's just say, for instance, my number was 913-555-5555. And then we can click File, Save. So once you've set your number, you just go File, Save, and then close the box. Next, I want you to run command prompt. We were going to type in C D space capital C colon, or excuse me, yes, colon, there we go. And you want to click a backward slash, not the forward slash that is shared by the question mark, and not the one that's on the screen currently. It's mostly right above your enter button the backward slash and then we're going to put a capital Q then we are going to hit enter it'll jump down and now it says C colon backward slash Q next we are going to type in um, rapi r-a-p-i config c-o-n-f-i-g dot e-x-e -E, space now we can do a forward slash P space d e l e t e dash n dash s e t dot x m l so rapi config dot e x c space p dash delete um dash n dash set dash x m l excuse me this is a space between p and delete and then we click enter now we wait and it says um, config results were written to the output file rapid config out .xml. that's good and says config successful great now that has written the internet settings we can exit out of that and exit out of this box altogether